Hi, this is Jimmy from the Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to add reminders to both Notion pages as well as table entries inside of Notion. The, the process is actually the same, but it could be different for tables, so I'm going to show you both ways. If you like this video, please smash the like button. It really helps my channel out and lets Google know that, hey, this channel is worth watching and this video is worth watching. If you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. And of course, if you find the content interesting, if you're into Notion tutorials or any other tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. That's all I do on this channel is create tutorials on productivity apps. Thanks. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, I have a page here. I'm actually working on another video. <laughs> in the future on how to make a multi-column layout but we could use this page to add a reminder so let's say i'll work on this page i want to work on it again tomorrow at a certain time so the easiest way to do that is to come down here where it says type slash for commands and type the at symbol and that brings up the app picker and you can type in a couple of different things here you can add a reminder you can add a person that's not like a person that this page is to or you can link it to a page in this case we're going to create a reminder and the easiest way to do that is once you hit that at symbol type in the word remind and then what's going to happen is you're going to see a couple of things happen in this sub menu the default is remind tomorrow so when you click that obviously it's going to remind you tomorrow you can link to a page that has the word remind in it <laughs> And also here you can create a new remind subpage that subpage with the title remind or create a new remind in a different page. But we, when you say at remind, what we really want is to say use a date. So let's say I want to say remind me for Friday at let's say 11 a.m. And as you see, as I type, it actually matches up with what I want. So I can click that. And now you can see I have a reminder for this page with the little alarm clock that says it's going to remind me at 11 a.m. on Friday. So that's how you do it for a page. It's pretty straightforward. If I wanted to change that, I can just delete that out, hit at remind. And let's say I wanted to do next Thursday as an example. And understands natural language, so I can sit here and, and say next Thursday, and it knows that next Thursday is November 5th. And I can also sign in a time I want. So let's say at 1.15 p.m., for example, to be really specific for some reason. And as you see, it understands what I'm typing because it has an entry here. And I can just click that. And now, November 5th, which is next Thursday at 1.15 p.m., I will be reminded. So that's how you do it for a page. Next, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, for a table entry. So let's say you have a database or a table in Notion and you have a date entry inside of your as a column inside your table you can actually use that date as a due date as an example and then sign a reminder based on that and i'm going to show you how to do that in the next um, section okay i'm back so now i have a very basic table here that i'm going to show you it has a date field as you can see i actually have that's the first field here and i could actually click on this and then bring up that date picker and as you see if this drink eight glasses of water as a habit in a habit database let's say I want to create a reminder for that to do it to start reminding me at a certain time to do that so if I scroll down here I have remind and then this by default it's none because you notice there's a little um, arrow here that means it's a drop down if I click it I actually have a couple of options by default so on day of event and the defaults could be at 9 a.m. The day before, two days before, or a week before. So let's say if I chose on day of event as an example. So I click that, and now I have, as you can see, I have a reminder that will happen on that day. But what if I want to assign a time? I want a specific time to be reminded. So if I hit include time, you can see that now I've added an additional field up here. So if I toggle that off, you can see it just has the date. But if I click include time, you can see both here in the picker as well as in my cell, you can see that I now have a time element. So let's say I wanted to be reminded at 10 a.m. And I click off. So now that's at 10 a.m. And let's say on the 29th, I want to be reminded include time. And I want a reminder now here, as you can see, one of the things that happens when you add a time is now you get some additional things. So let's. what's happening is when you set this time, this is not the time you get the reminder necessarily. That's the time that your thing is due. So 
I can sit there and say at the time of the event, which means that'll give me the reminder right at, in this case, 12 a.m. Or I can do five minutes before, 10 minutes before that, 15, a half hour, an hour, two hours. So most of the time, by default, I think most people do like 15 minutes before you want to get something done. Or you do it at the time you want to do it. So either, in this case, if I want, let's say I wanted to make this time, let's say I wanted to do it at 2 p.m. No, let's make it like 8 p.m. to make sure I got all the water in for that given day. So if I hit 8 p.m., right? And then I hit the drop down. And I, let's say I choose 15 minutes before. Well, what happened is it says 8 p.m. is my due date, my due time. But what will happen is that 7:45 p.m. is when I'll get my reminder. If I come back and say, you know what, no, I want to rewrite it at the time of the event. At that point, then it's going to at 8 o'clock. It's going to give me that reminder. And you can, and the nice thing about this is you have several. You can still have the day before, the two days before, when you have the time. If I turn the time off. And then click on it. You can see it goes back to the the defaults, which is on day of event, one day, two day, and one week. But if I click include time, it changes the entries I have here in this drop down menu. And you can actually specify you know a day before, two days, an hour before, etc. I normally just use the 15 minutes before if it's something that I want to work on, like if it's a task that I know I need to prepare for. I'll make it like 15 minutes before. That way I know, okay, in 15 minutes I have to do this. So now I start getting my work area ready to go. So at that time, I can just bang out what I need to work on. Now, the other thing you can do, let's say, let's just say no reminder here. And let's say no reminder on, you know, let's say, let's open up this page. Let's say I don't want to use this date page. I just want to do a simple reminder like I did before. Remember that every row of a table is essentially a page. So if I hit open, I can still come down here tap the at remind and let's say i want to do tomorrow let's say i want to do friday excuse me at 3 p.m and as you see i didn't have to type the colon zero zero i just type 3 p.m and it knows that that's three you know it understands that that's a that's a time and i can click that and it'll remind me at 3 p.m on friday to do this to make sure i've done this well, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you liked this video again, please Hulk smash that like button. It really does help out my channel. It helps uh, it grow and get exposed to various people that might be interested in Notion videos. If you want to see more videos, if you want to learn more about Notion or other apps, you really should be subscribed to my channel because that is literally all I cover. Uh, on the channel is how to use these apps. If you look, if you check out my channel page, it's literally nothing but app demos and tutorials. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release a new video, please click the bell. And also, actually, lastly, lastly, if you have any questions or any comments or anything you want to um, ask me, just leave a comment. I read my comments and respond to them. If you go through my comment sections of my videos, you'll see that I'm answering comments that people leave so if you have anything you want to leave me any questions or just any feedback i do read it so uh, please feel free to leave it thanks